President Obama spending this Friday night calling the President of Brazil about the dangerous Zika virus. It is quickly spreading across the United States in the Western Hemisphere. More than 30 people in the United States across 11 states and Washington, D.C. diagnosed with Zika. How dangerous, how contagious, and do you need to be worried? Director of the U.S. Centers for Disease Control, Dr. Tom Frieden, goes on the record. Good evening, sir. What is Zika, and should we all be worried or not? We should not all be worried. Let's be really clear. Zika is a virus. It's spread by mosquitoes, and it's spread only by a particular type of mosquito. Right now, it's spreading in South America, in the Caribbean, in Central America. We see travelers, people coming back to the U.S. who've been in places with Zika. That's who we're diagnosing in the U.S. That's to be expected. If you go to a place where mosquitoes spread Zika, you have to use a mosquito repellent. But the single most important thing to know is that pregnant women should not go to a country where Zika is spreading. All right. Um, what are the symptoms? Is there a cure? And if you are, third question, a pregnant woman, why are you the biggest target? So uh, four out of five people who have Zika don't have any symptoms at all. Usually it's very mild, rash, fever. Again, it's only spreading in South America, Central America, parts of the Caribbean and Pacific. Um, and we're concerned about pregnant women because just in recent months, Brazil has reported a rare uh, fetal malformation called microcephaly, or children with v infants born with very small heads. That can be a very severe birth defect, and that appears to be related to Zika. But there's a lot that we don't yet know about it. That's why we've got disease detectives on the ground in Brazil and Puerto Rico studying, preparing, learning more so we can protect Americans better. All right. As I understand it, just so I have this straight, is that the only way you can get it is from the mosquito, and so you'd have to be in a climate where they have the mosquitoes right now, so you're traveling to Brazil and other places. They travel to the United States, which is why we see them in some of the states here in the United States. You can't catch it from another human being, right? There are very rare case reports of spread from a blood transfusion or sexual contact, but virtually all, almost all the Zika is spread by a mosquito. When you have it in your blood, you just have it in your blood for a week. So unlike some other conditions where you can carry it for a long time, that doesn't appear to be the case uh, with Zika. But pregnant women are susceptible, it appears, to getting infection and passing that to their child, or for some reason, the in utero development is uh, interfered with and the child is born with microcephaly. That's why we say the one group of people who we're most concerned about are women who are pregnant and thinking of traveling to a place that has Zika. You shouldn't go. All right. And older people who might have, you know, uh, I mean, our older people might be more, might have like, uh, might be more susceptible of having it cause greater life-threatening things. Younger, healthy people don't have to worry, right? It's just pregnant women we're concerned about right now. Okay. There may be some other rare complications of Zika, but the real concern is for pregnant women. Don't go to a place where Zika is spreading. If you're in a place where Zika is spreading, it use mosquito repellent, use long sleeves, use clothes that repel, and stay inside, and if possible, in air conditioning, because that really reduces your chances of being bitten by an infected mosquito. All right. How about next July? Are these mosquitoes traveling here? Uh, the mosquitoes don't travel far, but they do travel in people. So we're seeing it around Latin America. In the U.S., these mosquitoes are only present in significant numbers in a few places, in Florida and Texas. But fortunately, in those places when other viruses that spread like Zika have come, there have been very few cases. To give you an example, the two viruses that are most like Zika spread by the same mosquito, they were... Two, thousand, two million cases in, the, in Latin America, and there were 19 cases in Florida. So this is, uh, it can happen here. It's not never, but it doesn't spread uh, explosively as it does in other parts of the world. Dr. Frieden, thank you very much, sir. That was very helpful. Thank you, sir. Thank you.